Making a list about the top 10 most developed cities in Africa is not as complicated as many may think. As much as the world is waking up to the beautiful and well-off nations in Africa, there are still quite a few people who still think of Africa as starving children with flies on their faces walking 50 miles to get clean water. Although you can find places in Africa where hunger and disease is still a major issue, for the most part, Africa has cities and countries that rival and sometimes outdoes other cities in the world when it comes to development. So today on Passport Kings, I'm doing a top 10 countdown of the most developed cities in Africa. Engage. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor and travel enthusiast. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about travel destinations and other vacation information. If this is a topic you like, subscribe to Passport Kings and hit the notification bell so you can be the first thing to know when I upload new content. Now, what exactly does developed mean when making a list about the top 10 most developed cities in Africa? When I think of developed, the first thing that comes to mind is a huge cityscape filled with fancy design skyscrapers where business is handled and working people commute to. Cleanliness helps, but not all major cities in the world are clean. As well developed as Paris or New York is, for instance, pollution, rats, and trash are also seen in many tourist videos. On Wikipedia, their definition of developed country is, most commonly, the criteria for evaluating the degree of economic development of gross domestic product, GDP, gross national product, GNP, the per capita income, level of industrialization, amount of widespread infrastructure, and general standard of living. Number 10. Wakanda. Wakanda has been kept secret from everyone other than its residents for almost a century. The discovery of the anti-metal called vibranium has created a major technological boom in all sectors of the economy. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. Number 10, Dar es Salaam. Dar es Salaam used to be the capital and richest city in Tanzania. Dar es Salaam is still the center government in Tanzania and the place where most business takes place. This country is also the site of Africa's highest mountain, Kilimanjaro. There you will also find the Serengeti. To embark on a safari here in Tanzania is to discover the wonders of this friendly African paradise. All around, peace is a major bragging right for the residents. The tour guides may try to rush you from one amazing scene to the next. Slow them down. So it is very developed. Number nine, Kigali, Rwanda. Kigali's capital is praised on the continent as Africa's cleanest city. Kigali practices umaganda. The original meaning of the word is coming together to achieve a common purpose. But the word now also represents the country's 2008 ban on all non-biodegradable plastics. On the last Saturday of every month, there is a mandatory citywide collaboration to clean all public places and the results are so clear that many other cities should try to copy this idea number eight Nairobi Kenya Nairobi is the capital of Kenya and has almost 4,400,000 people which makes it the city with the most people in Eastern Africa it's the fourth largest trading site in Africa so being developed just comes with the political and financial size of this economy What's called the green city in the sun, Nairobi has the largest and second oldest exchange in the continent, the Nairobi Securities Exchange, the NSE. The Nairobi National Museum displays the history of Kenya with handcrafts, fossils and extinct animals, portraits and other exhibits. Most tourists who travel to Kenya visit Nairobi heading to other destinations in this country like national parks and safari trips. Just don't forget to see the city so you can be amazed at how developed it is. Number seven is Port Louis, Mauritius. This island nation is one of Africa's main financial centers. In 1968, Port Louis, or maybe Port Louis, and the rest of Mauritius became independent from the French invaders. Many languages are spoken including English and French. They have multiple religions and multiple cultures. Democracy, economic, and political freedom makes this place special. The financial hub, tourism, manufacturing sector, and port facilities are some of the best on the continent. The island is surrounded by white sandy beaches and inhabits the world's third largest coral reef. 49 uninhabited islands are close by and they are used as natural reserves for endangered species. Number six, Johannesburg, South Africa. By population, Johannesburg is the largest and wealthiest city in South Africa. This city is crowded with large business centers, highways, and tourist attractions. Most residents will tell you to visit Soweto for the more cultural experiences. 
I didn't get a chance to go while I was in Santon. I did go on a wildlife safari that was about a $20 cab ride away. This city is also the largest economy of any metropolitan region in Sub-Saharan Africa. You can watch my entire video on my visit to Johannesburg, South Africa here. Now make sure you watch to the end of this video so you can get my free ebook of how to make money online in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, press subscribe and ring the notification bell. Number five is Cairo, Egypt. Cairo is the second largest city in Africa after Lagos. The city has a population of over 20 million people. It beat out New York and Paris for the world's most 24-hour city, according to Badu. Cairo's history is 7,000 years old. During that time, many dynasties have changed faces. Egyptians hoard all major artifacts left by past rulers. So the largest number of museums is in Egypt. Cairo accounts for 11% of Egypt's population and 22% of its economy. The majority of the nation's commerce is there, or passes through that city. Publishing houses, media outlets, and film studios are in Cairo. Half of the nation's hospitals and universities also reside here. But the city is in constant development, and most buildings are less than 15 years old. Number four, Tunis, Tunisia. Tunis is both the capital and largest city of Tunisia. There are 2,700,000 people living here. The greater metropolitan area is called Grand Tunis. Just outside the city, you can ride camels through the sand dunes of the Sahara Desert. Tunis is the political capital of the country and the center of all commercial activities. Tunis has a really strict set of rules to adhere to. So make sure you're well aware of the laws and general practices before you go wandering through this city. Number three is Cape Town, South Africa. Cape Town is quickly becoming the most popular city in South Africa. It already has the second largest population. Visitors who have been to both highly recommends Cape Town over Johannesburg. Cape Town is famous for its party atmosphere in the harbor and exciting scenery at Table Mountain and Cape Point. It is quickly becoming the most popular international tourist destination in South Africa. Number two is Gaborone, Botswana. Botswana is globally known for its wildlife, cultural aspect, and wilderness. The center of the city is a long strip of commercial business called Main Mall, with a semicircle shaped area of government offices to its east. Gaborone is one of the fastest growing cities in the world. The growth of Gaborone, especially suburban growth, has caused much of the farmland surrounding the city to be absorbed into the city. Most of the food from Gaborone comes from the north of the city, with some smaller scale farms on the southern end. Gaborone is the economic capital as well as the government capital. It is headquarters to numerous countries and the Botswana Stock Exchange. Gaborone is also home to the Southern African Development Community, SADC. A regional economic community established in 1980's official capital city of Botswana. Gaborone is one of the most beautiful cities in Africa. It's one of the largest producers of diamonds in the world. Before I get to number one, I do want to include the honorable mentions that was like 11 and 12. Agadar, Morocco, which is Morocco's largest seaside resort, and Luanda, Angola. Which I am ashamed to say, I didn't give this city the reputation it deserved in a previous video. Because Luanda is home to the nation's main seaport and administrative center. Number one is Abuja, Nigeria. Being the capital of the biggest economy in Africa, Abuja is the most developed and richest city in Africa. The richest man in Africa was from Abuja. Fola Runso Alakija is one of the richest women in the world, and she's also from Nigeria. She is involved in the fashion, oil, real estate, and printing industries. So, until the mogul Akon finishes his city in Senegal, this is the current top 10 list of the most developed countries in Africa. So, what do you think? The media will have you thinking that walking down the street would get you attacked by wild jungle cats. The residents that I spoke to say they usually just laugh off that ignorance instead of taking it personally. If any of these countries have you ready to book your first or 30th trip to Africa, I'd love to be your travel agent. I would love to set up your flight, transportation, and hotel stays. Just email me at thepassportkings at gmail.com or you can visit my new updated state-of-the-art website booking engine at www.passportkings.com. There's a link in the description above. And while you're there, you can also get my free ebook called Make Money Online so you can travel more. And that's just for signing up to my mailing list. Now, don't believe the media's crap when it comes to how horrible Africa is. Make sure when you get there, you go and you explore all the exciting cities like a king. 
a passport pin. Peace.